Realizing the need to replace its aged stock of World War II era, 1939 to 1945, American-made M8 Greyhound armored cars, the Brazilian army selected a 6x6 wheel design by the local concern of Engisa as a successor. This vehicle became the EE9 Cascavel Rattlesnake in service and was exported widely across South American and to clients in the Middle East. Modernization programs have served to push the EE9 product along in the new millennium, keeping it fit for modern confrontations. Around 2,500 have been produced since service entry occurred in 1974. The finalized NGSA product became a 12-ton vehicle featuring a length of 6.2 meters, with the main gun forwards, width of 2.6 meters, and a height of 2.7 meters. The standard operating crew, consisting of a driver, commander, and gunner, was three with the driver seated at front left in the hull and the turret supporting the remaining two personnel. Armor protection ranged up to 12 mm thick and consisted of steel and a fire detection system was implemented for crew survivability. Standard armament ultimately became a 90 mm main gun fitted to the turret's frontal face. To this was added a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun for anti-infantry service. The main gun was mated to a fire control system, FCS, for gunnery assistance and a laser rangefinder improved accuracy and reaction times. Later models introduced an external turret roof mounting for an addition 7.62 mm medium machine gun, MMG, or a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun, HMG, for local defense which also being fired from within the confine of the vehicle. Power to the line has been primarily an American Detroit diesel 6V53 and 6-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine of 212 horsepower, though a German Mercedes-Benz diesel of 190 horsepower was also witnessed. The engine and transmission system were fitted to the rear of the vehicle hull to provide middle and frontal internal space for the crew and various mission-critical components. The 6x6-wheeled configuration featured a noticeable space between the first and second axles and large road wheels aided in traction and cross-country traverse. Suspension was a unique NGSA developed boomerang double-axle arrangement and each wheel was given a run-flat feature as standard. Maximum road speed reached 100 kmh with an operational road range out to 880 km. Initial pilot vehicles appeared during 1970 and pre-production forms followed between 1971 and 1972. Upon acceptance by the Brazilian Army, production quality vehicles were seen from 1974 on. Besides the EE9 model, NGSA also manufactured another local, similar 6x6-wheeled armored car as the E11 Yerutu and this resulted in the two machines sharing many of the same automotive components for logistical friendliness. The earliest of the EE9 line were equipped with a turreted 37mm main gun, these taken from expiring stocks of World War II American-made M3 Stewart light tanks. The model was known as Cascavel I and carried with it the nickname of Cascavel Magro, the thin rattlesnake. Following this mark was the Cascavel II which featured an enlarged turret ring to house a traversing assembly appropriate for the 90mm DEFA D921 tank gun of French origin. This vehicle featured the full H90 series turret and was nicknamed Cascavel Gordo, the fat rattlesnake, while being meant primarily for export sale. The Cascavel 3 Mark brought along with it an in-house Ingesa design turret system mounting a 90mm Cockerill MK3 series tank gun of Belgian origin, the guns were manufactured locally under license. The Cascavel 4 was introduced thereafter and showcased an all-new engine and transmission pairing which improved performance. It was also equipped with a useful 7.62mm MMG-12. 7mm HMG mounting for local air defense and updated optics with laser rangefinder for improved day-slash-night service and accuracy respectively. The most successful of the listed Cascavel models became the Cascavel 3 and operators went on to range from Bolivia and Brazil to Uruguay and Zimbabwe. A modernization program has been underway to evolve the EE9 and E11 vehicles to a new fighting standard for service into 2020 and possible beyond. The EE9 saw combat service beginning with the Colombian Civil War, 1964-present, and then the Chadian Libyan War, 1978-1987. It also became a veteran, fighting under various national flags, of the Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988, the Gulf War, 1991, the Second Congo War, 1998-2003, and, most recently, the Libyan Civil War, 2011.